morning, everybody. Good morning. I, I think uh, our host today, the county executive, uh, Jim Tedesco, uh, deserves a very loud and warm. Uh, thank you so much for your hospitality and for hosting this beautiful event again. We thank our congressman and old friend, Bill Pasquale for joining us. Uh, this is the second event in three days that uh, <laughs> we do together. All the county uh, elected officials, the board of commissioners, uh, each and every one of you. And there are so many, so many uh, members of uh, this uh, great organization that I'm, lead, uh, I'm leading, and I would like to thank them all. Uh, the three presidents uh, of our chapters, uh, Paul Adams, uh, Evan Agrabidis, and uh, Peter Hilaris, Thank you for cooperating and for organizing this event with the county. But there is a particular individual that I wanted to uh, recognize, and uh, that is uh, the godfather of our community here, Gas Vetsas. He is a 62-year-old. Sixty-two years as a member of this great organization. But uh, as I look around the room, I see other Greek Americans that make us proud every day. Yeah. Uh, I see my good friend uh, Paul, the mayor of Bridgewood. Uh, Paul, thank you very much. Uh, here is uh, the city council uh, president, my good friend, oh, Jim uh, Potoyos. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, as we celebrate uh, the 203rd anniversary since the Declaration of Independence, on the 25th of March, 1821. We cannot forget the sacrifices uh, of those who dare to rise up, revolt again, and uh, fight for freedom. As you know, there were many, many attempts uh, against the Ottomans. The Greeks were under the Ottomans for 400 years. Slavery and oppression really uh, had a toll, but they never lost hope of fighting for freedom. And they did that, and many of them were slaughtered, unfortunately. But it took seven years in the planning. There was a secret organization, as you know, called Filigia Deria, founded in Odessa, Ukraine, today's Ukraine, to plan the revolution. And it wasn't until 1830 that Greece, the modern state of Hellas, was recognized. So it took, it took a lot. And it showed perseverance, and it showed dedication, because they were proud of certain values. And the gathering today is a testament to the success of our community. As the county executive said, our community is one of the most vibrant communities in Berger County. And we have a presence in the county, Mr. County Executive, for over 100 years. I was telling you before, this great organization that I'm leading was founded in 1922 in Atlanta, Georgia. When our, our community started organizing with the church and IHABA, our community was marginalized, oppressed, persecuted, and discriminated against. But they didn't stay at that. They didn't feel sorry for themselves. They fought back and they worked harder. And here we are, 100 and three years, 102 years later, and we have so much to show for. And that makes us very proud. So the purpose of finding this organization was to help educate the new immigrants and help them assimilate in the American society. To promote education, philanthropy, and civic responsibility. And they have done a wonderful job. And we are very proud but we cannot just rest on our laurels and talk about the glorious past. Now it's our time. We have a responsibility to continue that legacy and make sure that our children and our grandchildren rise to even higher levels. So I thank you all for participating today. It is a great day celebrating independence, but at the same time uh, commemorating the traditions that bound our new mother with the old mother, the two countries together, and the relations between the United States and uh, Greece and Cyprus are at the highest level. 
And at the time where there is so much friction in the area, in the Eastern Mediterranean, Greece and Cyprus are playing a very, very important role. And Greece and Cyprus are reliable and loyal allies, unlike some other neighbors, uh, Congressman, you know who I'm referring to. Uh, but uh, as we celebrate, as we celebrate, we must also remember that a part of Hellenism is still under occupation by the same by the same characters. Cyprus was invaded in 1974 by Turkey, and 50 years later, they still occupy 38% of the island. And it's very fashionable to talk about the Russian invasion because of Russia. But Russia hasn't done anything different than what Turkey did in 1974. And that really hurts me when I hear it, because I lived the war. I lived the horrors of the war. I was there. And it's, if our foreign policy uses double standards, at the end of the day, we lose our credibility and we are not taken seriously. And we must really push back and teach Russia a lesson. But at the same time, at the same time, we should highlight that Turkey must do the same. Because uh, Russia didn't, uh, Russia is following the text used by the Turks in 1974. So we pride ourselves to be the number one country in the world and we are. Our foreign policy though, at times is not there. So I ask all of you to continue to stay involved, be involved with the civic affairs of the communities you live in, stay close to your elected officials, make sure you continue to educate our good friends like uh, Bill Prosper and others, our senators, because we have an obligation to continue the fight. And the only way we can make a difference is if we are involved. If we are sitting on the bleachers, screaming, yelling, and cursing, it won't get us anywhere. So be involved. It's our responsibility. And this system, this country, gives us that opportunity to do so. So it is a great day, even though it's raining. I remember when we started, we, it was a handful of us raising the flag in the courtyard that. Uh, uh, one Bergen, and here we are, we have so many people, and as I said, it's a testament to our community and its contribution to the local society, but also to uh, Bergen County, and we thank you, we acknowledge it, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs>